For the vast majority of people, work involves interaction with others, which means that good working relationships are indispensable to good performance. But pressure is also an inescapable aspect of work, and pressure can cause relationships to suffer. But before turning to the potential of pressure to damage relationships, consider the five features that really good working relationships share. These are trust, openness, a sense of interrelatedness, the ability to perceive the connections between your tasks and those of your colleagues, respect for one another, and effective communication. Trust is emotional and logical. Emotionally, you may expose your vulnerabilities to people, trusting that they won't take advantage of you. Logically, you can objectively assess the situation and conclude that you can trust someone to behave in a predictable manner. For example, you can place trust in colleagues by seeking input from them. You can also demonstrate trust if you are comfortable discussing your successes and failures with colleagues. If you are a manager, you could demonstrate trust by allowing others to work without unnecessary oversight. Openness can mean different things in different contexts. It can mean honesty or openness to new experiences. In the workplace, you can demonstrate openness by being open to new ideas and being able to adjust your responses to current circumstances. For example, an open colleague will actively listen to others and not reject ideas without careful consideration. Healthy debate among colleagues and talking freely about current challenges are signs of an open environment. A sense of interrelatedness is about an awareness of the bigger picture. For example, if you have this quality, you can see how your current activities relate to organizational goals. Interrelatedness is also an awareness of how your job role affects the performance of others. For example, say you are a sales representative dealing with customers. If you are efficient, you create less work for the customer service team dealing with complaints. Respect for others is absolutely essential. Regardless of the context in the workplace, respect can be demonstrated by being considerate, truthful, and tactful with colleagues. Examples of showing respect in the workplace are listening attentively to colleagues, at meetings, and being constructive and tactful when giving feedback. Effective communication is understanding when it's appropriate to communicate in person, by email or by phone. For example, it's appropriate to use face-to-face -face communication for sensitive matters such as performance reviews. For routine communication, that must be recorded, say meeting minutes, email is the more appropriate option. Now let's try an exercise. Which actions exemplify the characteristics of good working relationships? You seek the opinion of a colleague to narrow performance gap. You carefully consider the opinion of a colleague that's opposite to your opinion. You're going to be slightly delayed with a deliverable, so you telephone a colleague who's waiting on information. You criticize a colleague's incompetence in a team meeting. You provide your manager with a verbal summary of a team meeting that he missed. Now, I will repeat myself, but this is very important. Please pause the video for a second, for a minute, and try to reflect on the correct answers. And then, as usual, we're going to compare together. Option one. This option is correct. Seeking the opinion of others demonstrates trust. All performance discussions should be in confidence. Option two. This option is correct. Careful consideration of a colleague's opinion is a sign of openness to new ideas. You may still end up disagreeing and that is fine, but it's important to consider alternative opinions. Option three, this option is correct. Awareness of the impact of activities on others is an example of interrelatedness. It's appropriate to make colleagues aware of time challenges as soon as possible. Option four, this option is incorrect. 
although issues should be discussed openly, it's disrespectful to openly criticize a colleague. Constructive feedback in a tactful manner is preferable. Option 5. This option is incorrect. Verbal communication is inappropriate for routine matters such as meeting minutes. An email would be more appropriate. Next, you are going to learn more about the negative impacts of pressure on relationships. Thank you.